Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Veltima Fungicide and Pride Seeds. I'm Kelvin Hepner for Real Agriculture, and making her debut on this episode of the Corn School, we're pleased to welcome Brianne Ray, market development agronomist with Pride Seeds here in Manitoba. And uh, Brianne, we are uh, getting towards the, the late part of uh, the typical planting season in this part of the world. We just had another rainstorm go through and the wind is howling, which is why we are not in the field. We're hiding behind this machine shed. But uh, when it comes to late planted corn, Brianne, what should growers keep in mind for getting that crop off to a good start? Things like planting depth when it comes to late planted corn. Yeah, so one obvious thing that we need to look out for is wet soil buildup on our planter. So wet soil can build up on gauge wheels and disc openers and that can all affect our planting depth. Another thing, now that we have, we're getting later into the season, we do have wet conditions, we can tend to want to shallow up our planting depth. But we do need to still maintain that one and a half to two inches. Um, this is beneficial because we're going to get good root development for that corn. So those nodal roots are going to develop properly at a proper depth. So it's going to enable us to have good water and nutrient uptake through those nodal roots. And those nodal roots are also structural support. So that corn plant is going to have good standability and good plant structure throughout the season if it starts off at the proper depth. Okay. Especially on days like today when the wind is, wind is strong. When it comes to uh, wet conditions like this, you, you talked about having soil buildup on your on your planter wheels on the openers. Uh, that's also conducive for sidewall compaction, which is harmful to uh, proper root development. Yes, exactly. So sidewall compaction happens when you do have smearing or wet soil buildup on those disc openers. So what that is, is the sidewall of the furrow is going to get compacted and really hard. So that obviously is going to be difficult for those little corn roots to try and grow through. Okay. So that's a matter of being patient and, and waiting for the soil to be fit? Yes, exactly. We do want a good firm um, soil seed bed. So um, one good way to make sure that uh, the field is ready for planting is to go out and grab the soil in your hand. If it crumbles when you squeeze it, you're good to go. And if it forms a hard ball, then it's too wet. Okay. thought the camera might blow over there. The wind <laughs> the gust came through. We are already the, the middle of May here, Brianne. Uh, and by the time people are watching or, or listening to this conversation, it might be late May. Should we still be paying attention to soil temperature at this point in the planting season? Yeah, so soil temperature is very important as well. We want to make sure that we do have 10 degrees Celsius at planting depth, and we do want to make sure that we're seeing a good 48 hour warming trend. Um, but now that we're later on into the season, we should have 10 degrees Celsius. All right. Cool. So the general message though is even though we are late, be patient, wait for that soil to be fit. Yes, exactly. All right. Thanks for your time, Brian. Thanks for having me.